Anybody recognize that? That's from the old Maritime Club at CFB Gagetown in New Brunswick. It's my favorite bag. So I've been back and forth on this decision and I am now getting ready to go visit my parents out in Bjorn. So it's time to pack. I tend to pack pretty light. Just got my cord, my mask for sleeping, two underwear, two socks, three t-shirts, a hoodie, one extra pair of pants, my bag for my personal items, my cannabis, and my medicine. This is taking a bit of effort because every nerve ending in my body, every single whatever happens, every single signal saying, stay home, don't go anywhere. Because that's all I wanna do is I just sit in the house, stay in the house and just avoid the outside world. But uh, I'm forcing myself to get out today. I made it. All right, I think I'm all ready. First thing is first, just gotta find the coffee shop. I need to get a coffee for the road. So most likely it'll be Tim Hortons. It's usually my go-to. We may have a problem. I just thought about it. It's Good Friday. Now, is Tim Hortons open on Good Friday? We shall see. And it's open, so that's a good thing. Hi, welcome on. What can I get you? Alright, can I have a large coffee with three cream? Yeah. And a bottle of water, please. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Right, good. Thank you. Hi. Hi. David, sir? Uh, and I'll pay with this as well. David? Uh, there should be a... Uh, no. Should be Tim's card on there? Tim's card? Yeah. I'll show you Tim's card. What's your Tim's card, sir? Tim's card? I don't know, I scanned. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Now I'm all set for my drive. Goodbye, Cowan Heights. See you on Monday. Yes, that's Cowan Heights. Down there is where I live, somewhere. changes. Like I said, wait five minutes. The nectar of the gods. I don't know if you can hear that whistling, but it drives me nuts. Been like it since I bought this vehicle. Somewhere under trim, there's a slight leak, and they can't find it. And every time I get certain crosswinds, it starts buzzing. You know how you used to uh, put a blade of grass between your two hands and blow into it and make that loud, buzzy whistle sound. That's what that does.
And since it's raining, I probably don't need these on. Made it to Whitburn. I was going to stop for a coffee initially, but since I got my coffee in St. John's, I still got a third left, so I'm good until Goobies or Robins. We'll see. Coffee's starting to get cool. Figured it would. About an hour driving now, of course, it's going to cool down a bit. Glad I got my coffee because that's half of my medications because I forgot to take my meds this morning. I just, uh, it just clued in. I picked them up and grabbed them for the weekend, but forgot to take out today's pills and eat them. I should be all right. I've been, uh, I'm after skipping days before, but uh, I'll just take them when I get to my parents' place. No big deal, right? stop here at Robbins for a coffee but uh, I don't really need another one right now I think I'm good and I don't need to pee although I should slow down because it is a 70 zone I could stop in there and say hi to that moose <laughs> many many times stopped and fondled those testicles on that moose <laughs> badness Here we are, turning down the Bjorn Peninsula Highway, the 210 run. How far is it? Well, I got my Google Maps going, but we got a sign here, Maristem 143, Bjorn 153, Grand Bank 195. Let's go. was going to show you how scenic and beautiful Swift Current is, but as you can see, it's pretty uh, foggy here today, so the scenery, not so much. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Got a sunny on this end of Swift Current. This car was going below the speed limit. Now that there's a passing lane, they're speeding right up. People like that drive me. Anyway, I'm getting around them. Stopping to have a look at the uh, lookout here in Mortier Bay today, is it? I'm about a half an hour from home and uh, almost out of water, and I really need to pee bad. Out of water. Still got to pee though. Craving a big old feet of Wong's now. My favorite Chinese restaurant.
first time I ever got drunk was over there. I think I was 14, maybe 15 years old. Split a six pack with a buddy. Experience the world to be a kinder place because it really is a kinder place for them. And the downside there is it generates a belief that. The Welcome to Mortier. Definitely not out for the weather this weekend. But I beat all the rain because we're in for a heavy rainfall this evening and tomorrow. here. Pretty little spot. Won't be long now and we'll be swimming in that pond. Well I might not be but people will be. Spent a lot of time in my youth in this area. And here we are, Fox Cove. Dimmer store. This is where my heart is. Might as well do the loop before I can turn up. my grandmother's house. We used to live over in that red house. Made it safe. As you can see, my father doesn't stop much. Got the tracks off. He took some parts off that tank, repaired that stove, and it looks like he replaced the winch as well on his ATV. Yeah, brand new. I wish I had just an inkling of his abilities. Take your round back. Here's the view. This is where I get to spend my weekend. Even in the fog, it's beautiful. You see my dad got a nice garden going. Got the kelp all down there. That'll give it all its nutrients over the winter. Perfect for the spring. Over here is my little spot. This is where I always come and smoke my uh, joints when I'm here. Over 
If it's nice at all, sit on that rock and just enjoy this view. Makes meditating so much better, or medicating, both actually. Yeah, my dad is really meticulous with this, as you can tell. Good night, Fox Cove. Good morning, Fox Cove. Sorry, Cowan Heights, but this looks a lot better than Cowan Heights. Beautiful view. Just watch this coffee cup. This was a gift from the neighbors to my dad. And every time I come, this is the mug I tend to use. See, it's got a nice moose on it. Focus on that. Anyway, this is a visual to let you know that your coffee's still hot when you see the picture. As the picture fades, that means your coffee's cooling down. I'm a little concerned this trip out because every time I come to Fox Cove, it's like, Everything that bothers me, everything that's in my head, like I'm able to ground myself and I just clear my head and I settle into this comfortable, relaxing environment. But uh, this, reason, this visit, for some reason, I just can't shake, shake the anxieties, the depressive feelings or anything like that. It's like I, uh, I hate saying it out loud. I, I just don't even want to be here. It's like no matter where I go right now, I don't want to be there. And uh, and just watch when I when I focus on the background here. Look at that. I mean, beautiful, isn't it? So why would I not want to be here? And I mean, yeah, I don't know. It baffles me, and I'm. Uh, Anyway, I'm struggling with it, so we'll see. I'll, we'll see how the rest of the weekend goes. Hopefully, uh, something changes within my noggin here because it's driving me nuts. Every visit, I always make a point of going down to the beach and relaxing for a bit. That's just not even on my radar this time. I suppose I could break out Dad's ugly stick and uh, maybe that'll help cheer me up. Let's give it a shot. No, not really. Not doing it, but it does make me feel silly. My parents are gone shopping, so I can break out the guitar and play some music. I can play it at Cahoon. Get some bass going, some uh, percussion. Got a couple of accordions, one there. Another one over there. I think you might have three. I think for now I'm going to focus on Old Faithful here. I'm going to do some reading for a little bit while my parents are away.
Getting ready to go for a stroll with my mom. See that rock right there? I fell over that one time. Well, it was a short walk today, so I decided to come to the beach and uh, medicate. Because you can't really beat this view for that, right? Now, to find a comfy spot to stand and relax. This rock looks like it might be a winner. Actually, this is the one I sat on before. Last time I was here. And I got my nice minty ones today, my favorite. Oh man, do I ever hate walking up this hill. The scrape. It's just more proof, more evidence how out of shape I am. And I forgot my walking stick too. <laughs> this is me when I first joined the military. This was on one of my first exercises in Gage Town. And me when I was a little baby with my nice bronze shoes. Don't think they'll fit now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
How is this for the perfect view after a nice barbecue? Something else, isn't it? Here, I'll tap. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful sky. Well, here we are. It's the end of Saturday. My first full day here in Fox Cove. Started off a little rough for me this morning, but it turned out all right. As you can see, my day was actually pretty good at the end of it. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow again for another day of excitement in Fox Cove. <laughs>